Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Monday's Celtic Morning Prayer. This is the first day of Holy Week. And as we walk through this week, it has particular poignancy, doesn't it, this year, this time. Um, and the theme today is lamentation. I think lamentation is very helpful at this time when we're all faced with um, some difficulties and some challenges, but also gives us hope beyond this. Let's still ourselves before the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the name the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. So now we have a scripture reading from Lamentations. How lonely sits this city that once was full of people how like a widow she has become, she that was great among the nations. She that was a princess among the provinces has become a vassal. She weeps bitterly in the night with tears on her cheeks. Among all her lovers she has no one to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They have become her enemies. Judah has gone into exile with suffering and hard servitude. She lives now among the nations and finds no resting place. Her pursuers have all overtaken her in the midst of her distress. The roads to Zion mourn, for no one comes to the festivals. All her gates are desolate. Her priests groan, her young girls grieve, and her lot is bitter. For the world of the Lord, thanks be to God. Now a couple of verses from Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a, a short passage ex about expressing lament uh, by Walter Brueggemann. <clears throat> Old Testament stories of exile might be a resource to move us from denial and despair to possibility. Ancient Israel understood that unless loss is examined and understood, newness will not come. The ancient community of exiles learned to express sadness, rage, anger and loss honestly. The Israelites lost nearly everything when they lost Jerusalem. From Israel, the body of Christ can learn a better way to deal with grief and rage. It can learn to address these emotions to God, for it is God who is terminating our unjust privilege and deceptive certitude. Ancient Israel broke the pattern of denial by engaging in speeches of complaint and lamentation 
that dared to say how overwhelming was the loss, how great the anxiety, how deep the consequent fear. For example, Lamentations expresses the sadness of this experience by describing a bereft Jerusalem. She weeps bitterly in the night with tears on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she has none to comfort her. Such cathartic utterances are also an honest and courageous practice of prayer. They offer an opportunity for turning brutalising loss into an act of faith that may in turn issue into positive energy. These speech practices give us a way to vent our rage at loss without letting it escalate into actions that will hurt our neighbours. That is the reading for today uh, from uh, the Arta readings in the Northumbria Community Book of Prayer. They just seem so apt at the moment that we are and possibly should be raging at the situation, but that that will be held by God and with God we will persevere. Through love, we will persevere. And so let's pray for others. Dear Lord, we lift to you all those who are suffering at this time through loss, grief, separation, especially for those who are sick at this time and dying without their relatives around them, Lord. We pray for them and we pray for their relatives, Lord, their families. We think especially today of Becky, who, while not sick with the virus, um, has been admitted to hospital. So we just pray for her and for her family, Lord, for a um, a good recovery and a return to, to health and well-being, Lord. Dear Lord, these situations do make us so worried and angry and sometimes desperate when we constantly hear the the news of the growing death numbers and the difficulties that people are facing, Lord. But we thank you that we can rage and wail and cry and really be honest about how we feel, Lord, and that you will be listening. And you will be understanding, because as we face this week, this holy week where we walk with Jesus through those last days of his on earth, we are reminded what he suffered, Lord, what you know about human suffering and how nothing we face can be. something that he hasn't understood, that you haven't understood, Lord. So we just thank you for that, Lord, and we lift our worries, our rage, our despair to you, Lord, that we may feel your love. Picking that up, Lord. In your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for all the villages around, uh, in our, the villagers in our parishes who have volunteered and are organising to help their neighbours, Lord. Just thank you that at this difficult time that people are really coming together. And although we've had some to face some difficulties, thinking especially of the robbery in, um, in Fressingfield, that we need to remember that 
most people's responses in their hearts are for good and for the good of others, Lord. And we just thank you for that. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we bring those personal prayers to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's say this canticle together. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I wish you all a very good day.